What do we have here? Woo! Something very exciting just came in the mail. The DJI Mic 2s. It's time for a little unboxing. So in the package we have the DJI Mic 2 charging case, two transmitters, a receiver, two dead cats to block the wind, and then some cords to connect it to your camera and to charge. And then I got this uh, Sony adapter so I can put it straight to my Sony camera and a lab mic. And why I'm so excited about this setup is I can actually move around and have my hands free to, you know, hold a camera or lenses or do things with my hands rather than being held back by having to hold this Droby Gorilla Pod and being this distance at all times and my shoulders just burning from walking and holding the camera setup. Now, I'm actually free to move around, talk, interact with you guys, and I'm a hand talker, so this frees me a whole lot. Some other cool features about the DJI Mic 2 are, for example, the fact that this is now 32-bit flow, and you've probably been hearing this term being thrown around everywhere, and essentially it means it's like the raw for photos, but for audio. So when you have 32-bit flow, if, for example, you have really high sound all of a sudden or you're whispering, you can then in post adjust to make it perfect, meaning essentially you can't really mess up the audio. Now, that doesn't mean that somehow the audio is going to be always perfect. Of course, the environment that you're filming in is going to always impact your audio, but it does make it almost foolproof for someone that they're not going to clip and totally ruin their audio. Another thing that I think is really cool about the DJI Mic 2 is that they've actually released a Sony adapter for it, meaning you can just put it straight to your Sony mirrorless camera and everything's just very streamlined and easy to use. There's no cords dangling, no risk of essentially the audio not being recorded because maybe the cord was pulled out. It's just a really nice feature if you are a Sony camera user. Another cool feature is that when you connect your DJI Mic 2 to your mirrorless camera, there's actually different presets in the receiver that you can use to calibrate your DJI Mic 2 and your camera, meaning it takes all the guessing work. You can be confident knowing that these are the best settings for your specific camera and this microphone. As well, another cool feature with the DJI Mic 2 is that it has Bluetooth now, meaning you can easily pair it to your mobile phone, to the Pocket 3 and the Osmo Action 4, which makes it just so easy to use and seamless if these cameras or mobile phone are already part of your filming workflow. If you do wanna connect your DJI Mic 2 to your mobile phone or to the Pocket 3 or Osmo Action 4, all you gotta do is press the record button for three seconds, then all of a sudden the Bluetooth button is gonna start blinking blue and then you can press the pair button and then it's gonna link your DJI Mic 2 to your mobile phone or Pocket 3 or Osmo Action 4. Really easy to do. Now, if you're like me and you are in the market for getting a new wireless microphone system and you wanna buy one of the micro systems from DJI, it can be a little bit confusing because there's a lot of options. You know, you have the original DJI mic, you have the DJI mic 2 transmitter, you have two transmitters with a receiver, charging cases, so many different options. So I thought in this video, I would answer your guys' questions and help you figure out what you should buy depending on what your needs are. And really there's three things you should consider. First is your budget, of course. How much money do you have to invest into a wireless microphone system? The second question you wanna ask yourself, are you filming solo, just yourself, or are you filming with other people or doing interviews and you wanna be able to record two people's audio at the same time? And the third and last question you wanna ask yourself is what camera are you gonna be using? Are you gonna use your mobile phone or Pocket 3 and Osmo Action 4, or are you gonna be using a more high quality camera like the Sony a7S III, which I'm using right now? By answering all those three questions, it's gonna help you determine which wireless microphone system you should get. So the original DJI mic system is great if you're on a budget. For 159 US dollars, you can get the transmitter and the receiver and you're set if you're a solo creator or if you're doing interviews, you can pay $249 to get two transmitters, one receiver and the charging case and you're set, you're good to go. But if the work that you're doing requires more high quality audio, then I would consider the DJI Mic 2. For someone who's filming predominantly with a mobile phone, the Pocket 3, or the Osmo Action 4, you can actually just get the solo transmitter for the DJI Mic 2, which is gonna cost you $99, and you're set for audio. Then if you're a content creator shooting solo, but you wanna use a more high quality camera, like a Sony mirrorless camera, something like the Sony a7S III that I'm using right now, then you're gonna need to get the transmitter and receiver 
setup. And when you get just the transmitter and the receiver, that setup is gonna cost you 229 US dollars. And the last option is for creators who are doing more professional client work, you're doing interviews, you need to be able to record audio for not only yourself, but maybe someone else, then you wanna go for the full package, which has two transmitters, a receiver, and the charging case. And that whole setup goes for $359. Uh, I know for some people that might be a lot of money, but the fact that you're gonna get such high quality audio and as well such a seamless and easy to use setup, I would recommend investing that amount of money into audio because audio can be often the most stressful part about content creation, especially if you're doing client work, so you don't wanna mess that up. But yeah, those are your options if you are looking for a brand new wireless microphone system from DJI. Lots to choose from, but hopefully my answer cleared the air and helps you decide what would be best for you. I am very curious, what does the lav mic sound like? So let's uh, do a test without the lav mic and then with the lav mic. All right, testing, this is just with the DJI Mic 2. It's actually underneath my shirt here, very uh, stealth-like, you know, doesn't show anywhere. I like that. That is a nice feature about the DJI Mic 2 that it's just a little magnet, so I just put the magnet in my pocket. But how does this audio sound right now? All right, let's put in the lav mic and see how that sounds then. All right, attaching lav mic. And let's attach the lav mic similar to where the mic two was. All right, testing the DJI mic two now with the lav mic, how does this sound? All right, hopefully that sounds good because I'm very excited if I can uh, use this lav mic as well with the mic two, or if it doesn't sound that much better then maybe it's just easier to go with the mic two alone. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section which one you thought sound better. The lav mic right now with this audio, let me pull it out. Or does just the DJI mic 2 alone sound just as good or good enough? What do you guys think? Comment down below.